Hi everybody, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I am going to talk about a feature that many of us have been waiting at least the last couple, three years for. And not everybody has it yet, but it's being rolled out. But it's on the basic and advanced recertification test, so you need to know about it. We are talking about the auto-imported bank statements feature in QuickBooks Online. And I was wondering if I was ever going to get this feature or not, but lo and behold, one day when I was in here doing my bank and credit card reconciliations, I saw that it appear. And once you get it, there's nothing you're going to have to do. It's just going to appear one day out of the blue. So basically what's going to happen is that when you get this feature, the bank statements are auto-imported for select bank and credit card accounts that are connected in the banking center. Now, what I'm going to do in the comments below is to put the link to the article where you can see a list of current banks and financial institutions that are supported, but just understand that new ones are being added all the time, so this list may be redundant or antiquated by the time you see it. So keep that in mind. But basically what's going to happen is that when you are able to view the statements in your QuickBooks file, then you can go ahead and reconcile from within there. And what it will do is if you have any unreconciled statements, they're going to show in this tab. Since I did all my reconciliations already, I can click on the reconciled and it's going to show all the statements that were downloaded and it looked like it did a massive download as of uh, 12.30 for this one account. And then with each month that has since gone by, it has done it every month as the statement is closed out. And so all these have been reconciled. And if you see that for some reason there might be a break or something in it, then you can click on this update button which we won't have to worry about doing right now. There's also a place that you can send feedback to into it and let them know of things that you would like to see. One thing you won't see is any checks, copies of checks. That would be a fantastic feature to be able to see, but that's something you can submit your feedback on. But let's get out of this menu because I want to show you what happens when you actually reconcile what happens is that you go in here and you'll see all these statements are attached. So if I was to click on the most recent one that I did, you can see that this statement is attached and I can click on this to open this up and see it. So you still also have the option for if your bank or financial institution does not have this feature enabled, then you can go ahead and click on the attach button and then you can either drag and drop files here or browse to upload. So you still have the option to do that. This only works with those financial institutions that you have connected through the bank center. In other words, it does not work for any accounts that you do not have connected through the bank center. So you have to make sure that you connect those through the banking center in order for you to see this. But there's nothing you have to do on your end. It's going to appear when your financial institution is one of those that is participating in this feature. And like I said, one of the only limitations that I can see is that you cannot see copies of any written checks or anything like that. So, but other than that, it it's basically on autopilot. You don't have to attach anything. It will automatically attach to the history line item for the statement that you do. So this is all I have for you today. I hope this helps you. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks Desktop or Online. 
My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.